What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Slap a like on the video if you do enjoy. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Today we're going to be talking all about this awesome outline tattoo glow animated effect. So we're going to be using After Effects. Not only can you use this in some sort of Instagram fashion like this. This is M. Sipakov. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Really awesome. I love the animation that you can do through this. And it's actually a pretty easy process. You don't just have to do this on tattoos. You can do it on any outline in your video. Uh, I want to show you in a music video sense as well. This is Ski Mask the Slump God, Dr. Seuss. Premiered sort of recently. And I really love the effects in this. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is not just show you how to do the lines but also how to kind of add these different effects where it's flickering from one sort of lighting to the other. You see also has the glow in the teeth there. So really cool stuff. Um, I'm also gonna show you some background things with some glow to be able to create a scene like that. So I think you guys have the idea. Let's start getting ready to hop into After Effects. Before we do, I just want to mention, I recently dropped over 100 new assets on my website, mediamonopoly.co. Everything from money overlays, fire burn overlays, money burn transitions. We have two new preset packs for Adobe Premiere and After Effects and much, much more. So if you're interested, click the link below. I put up a brand new page here, just click assets and you can check those all out. And of course the two in the preset section. So back to our tutorial here, we're gonna start from scratch. I got this footage royalty free from pexels.com. I just looked up tattoo or face tattoo if you'd like to follow along with me. So just right click on your footage and click replace with After Effects composition in Premiere. Or if you only have After Effects, go ahead and start with an After Effects and drag your footage in here. All you need to do once you have your footage is right click on it, go up to track and stabilize, and you want to click track camera. That allows us to create these lines and have it tracked onto moving footage. So make sure there's not a lot of shakiness in your footage. Make sure there's not too much motion blur or you may have shaky results. This shot should be perfect, not too much movement. So we're gonna let After Effects go through and analyze that. All right, so once your tracking is complete, you should have something like this where you can see all these tracking points. Now what we wanna do is we want to hover over where the tattoo or the outline that you'd like to add the glow is. And we want to right click with that bullseye point there we want to click create solid and camera. So once you've done that over on the left here in your layers, go ahead and grab that tracking solid. And I'm just going to click S to scale it up. I'm going to give it a bit more room. So something like that. And we're just going to turn off the visibility. So just click this little eyeball button. Now we're gonna go and create some of these outlines. So select your track solid, click G or in the top left, grab your pen tool. And you just want to zoom in to whatever you want to make glow. Uh, so let's try and do it on this heart here. Just click and drag. If you click and hold down, you can kind of bend this mask uh, to get that perfect. Connect that mask. I'm actually going to right click on our track solid and rename that to heart glow. And then selecting that heart glow layer, I'm going to click M on my keyboard to show the mask option. So right now the mask is set to add. That's fine. If we were to click play right here, you can see how this heart is sort of falling along. We don't want it to be filled in. We want that to be this glowing animated line. So to do that, what I recommend you guys use is a plugin called Saber. It's actually free from Video Copilot. So I'll leave a link down to this page below. It took me about five seconds to be able to download this. Just close After Effects, run the installer, reopen After Effects. Once you've done that, back in After Effects, just go to your effects and presets and search for Saber. We're gonna take that effect and drop it onto our heart glow layer. You're gonna see this craziness pop up in the top left in our effect controls, we're just going to go over to customize core right here. And we're gonna change the core type from saber to layer masks. So now it should be in whatever shape we've drawn. Let's go over to the heart glow layer here. And we want to click toggle switches and modes until you see this little blending mode drop down box. Let's select that and change our blending mode to screen. So there you go. Now, if you click play, you have this glowing animated line tracked within your footage. Now all we really need to do is add some different animations and then we're gonna go in and show you some music video-esque effects to add that Ski Mask the Slump God Dr. Seuss style. So the beauty about Saber is you can add these animations directly from the plugin. You have these presets here. If you want, you can go through and change them. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of them have this sort of animated edge. So if you want, you can go through this. Um, but if you just want to change the color, just keep it at default and you can change the glow color right there. You also have your glow intensity, glow spread if you want to change around the look. Now under customized core again, what you want to look for is this end offset. So if I take that value and just crank it to the left, you see how it kind of undraws itself. Same for the start offset if you want it to sort of draw from the other side. So we're going to scroll to the beginning of our timeline here. And for end offset, we're just going to set that to zero. And then once we've done that, 
or end offset, we're going to click this button here just to toggle the animation, set a keyframe at that position. So click and we're going to drag a tiny bit and we're going to take that end offset and put it up to 100. So you see the keyframes right here. We created a simple animation where it starts from nothing and then grows into our glow. So you guys can use those simple steps to be able to easily outline anything, whether it's a tattoo, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a logo, very simple. You have those built in animation tools and everything is tracked along with the footage. Now say you'd like to add more, you can keep selecting this layer, click G and just draw some more masks. Just keep in mind here that if you do it on this layer, it's going to have the exact same animation speed, properties, color as what we did before. So if you want to change up the pacing or the color, all you need to do is select that layer, click control D to duplicate it. And then let's maybe name this band aid or whatever this is on his face. So let's select the duplication layer and click M. And let's go ahead and just delete these masks just like that. So we're going to create a new mask here for our duplicated layer. And I'm just going to trace around this tattoo. And if you want to change the timing for those, you guys could open up effects here, saber, customize core. Maybe you could just drag the keyframes over so it has a little bit of offset. Um, now you can change the color of this one if you want some variation in the color. And this one's glowing a little too much, so let's kind of lower that a bit. So that's how you can add in multiple different lines and keep going through with this workflow. Now, another quick trick I want to mention before we get into the music video stuff. Sometimes instead of having to do all of the masking yourself, it depends on the footage. You can always select your footage, go up to layer and auto trace. And you see if I select different channels, After Effects is going to try and create different lines based on the footage. Uh, for this one, there's just a lot going on. But if you are having a straightforward shot, there's a lot of lines. You could click OK. It'll turn all these lines into masks and you could just drop the saber effect on from there. So make sure you know about that. It could save you some time depending on the footage you are using. Now getting into some of the music video effects, where if we look back at this one more time, you see how everything is dark except for the glow. Uh, we're going to talk about some background stuff. See this clip where it kind of goes from this gray and uh, flickers in with the alternate version here with the glows. So to be able to do something like that, it would help if you shot on a green screen because then you could put in any background you'd like. But if you didn't shoot on a green screen, we're going to do some quick rotoscoping here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is select my footage here at the very bottom. I'm going to click control D to duplicate that. And I'm going to right click and rename this to rotoscope. So let's select that rotoscope layer and we're going to double click on it until we go from a composition to a layer. So double click like that. You're still in a composition just double click again until you are in that layer and now all you have to do is go up to the top left and grab your roto brush tool and then just draw in the area that you'd like to mask the green brush adds if you hold down alt you can get this red brush which can cut away from the mask so try and get this purple line around the area you'd like as best as you can you can also go to your effect controls on the left add a tiny bit of feather so once you have that purple line ready you just want to click the page down key on your keyboard That'll move to the next frame. And if for any reason this purple line messes up, just go ahead and use that green and red brush to make any adjustments. This is sticking pretty well, so I probably won't have to make that many adjustments. I can just keep going through the frames here, making sure everything's good to go. All right, so I made all of my adjustments. The only thing I need to do here is grab this gray line right here. If you click Control Alt and mouse wheel, you can zoom into that. We're going to end that gray line on the last frame that I made an adjustment for. So right there, if your gray line goes to the left of this little square right here, just make sure you end it right at that square that defines the area you'd like to mask. All you have to do at that point is click this freeze button. So After Effects will do the rest. All right, guys, so once that finishes up, all you have to do to see the results is click back over to a composition. You don't see anything now, but keep in mind that we have this bottom layer here. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that layer and we can ignore this black square here. Once we add our own background, that'll go away. So don't worry about that. So let's try and set up a scene like this where it kind of flickers back and forth. So back in After Effects in this gray space, I'm going to right click and go to new solid. And we're going to start off first by making a black solid. We'll put that at the very bottom of the layer structure. And then I'm going to right click again and go to new and create another solid. And this time we'll make a red background. And of course, you can choose your own color. So we'll put that there and make sure that's above the black. Now, with this red solid, we're going to go up to the top left and just grab this circular uh, ellipse tool. You can also click Q to quickly bring that up. And we're going to draw a circle in the center here. Once we've done that, I'm going to go and click M on this layer just to show the mask here. And with that mask open, we're just going to 
add a bunch of feather so that that smooths out. And then you can also take the mask expansion and bump that up so you have this sort of vignette. Let's add that gray, black and white look to his face. We're gonna go to effects and presets and search for the black and white effect. And before we actually apply that, I'm gonna select our rotoscope layer, click Control D to duplicate it. And we'll rename this to black and white. So on the black and white layer, place the black and white effect onto that. Then let's go to our effects and presets and add a bit of noise to give that some texture. So drop the noise onto there. We're gonna go to our effects and presets and for the amount of noise, we'll just crank that up and uncheck use color noise, maybe something like that. You can also go and search for the curves effect, drop that onto your black and white layer. You can color correct that how you'd like. So we have this normal setup. If you guys want, you can change the backgrounds, add grid effects. Pretty sure all the way throughout this video, they have a bunch of different things. We'll come back and add some background stuff later, but let's set up the second part, which is just the glowing face. What we're going to do is select our rotoscope layer again and click Control D to duplicate it. And let's rename that to only glow. So let's hide the black and white layer for now just by clicking to hide the visibility. And on the only glow layer, what we're going to do is add another curves effect onto there. And in our effect controls, you just want to darken this up so that the features are barely visible. So you drop that super low. Pretty much you want to be highlighting the glow just like that. You can also add some noise to this or any other effects. It's really up to you guys. So we have one layer which is only highlighting the glow and we have one layer which is just this normal black and white and we're going to get rid of the glow here. So all you need to do at this point is just make some cuts in the footage so that you show what you want to show at the right time. Let's hide the heart and bandage layers for now and we're just going to drag a bit. Whenever we want the glows to show, we select this black and white layer, click Control Shift D to split and let's maybe move over like four frames. So I'll click page down one two three four Control shift d to split and you delete that part so on this little chunk here you'll see how it goes from black and white to this the darkened what we want to do is show the glows for whenever it's showing the darkened clip so select both of our glow layers click Control shift d to split and then just make sure that they're showing in this little gap so we can just show the visibility on these two little sub clips and it gives you something like this where it goes from the black and white and it flickers over to just the glowing. And you can sort of repeat these steps, a little bit different than the original because there's really not a lot of motion in this clip. He's kind of just standing still. Whereas in the ski mask video, he's kind of animated, moving around a lot. But essentially it is the exact same concept. Now, if you wanna add anything in the background here, you can use any overlay clips that you find on the internet. There's some for free on my website if you wanna check that out, link down below or you can use some of the new ones that we just dropped on the website. And of course, you guys can use whatever. So I'm gonna drop in maybe some of these money assets. So I imported in some of these assets from my recent drop. This one is from the MoGraph Shapes. Got some cool little hand pan animation. Uh, we have this one from the money assets pack stop motion animation of this folding into this butterfly and then sort of flying around and then we've got some other stuff from the music video themed assets like these bullets dropping so i'm going to put some of these in the background here just to show you um, you just want to select all of these drag them to the very bottom and just place them above the solid now if you don't want them to be all colorful and stuff if you want to sort of match the theme of this let's go ahead and just drop a little fill effect onto this and I'm also gonna scale that up. So click S and just scale up. And you can choose whatever color you want this to be filled with, maybe white. So I think the falling bullets from the music video pack looks pretty cool here. Um, just give it that silhouette so it has that sort of Sin City vibe, which matches from the music video. Or you can just take these steps, go for your own aesthetic, go for your own look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment below what you'd like to see next. If you did enjoy, slap a like. It helps me a huge amount with the YouTube algorithm. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you in the next one.